Hola! In this video, we'll be discussing subject pronouns and how to conjugate verbs. Don't be intimidated by the word conjugate. It may seem big and impressive, but it's really just a word that means to put the correct verb with the correct subject pronoun. It seems really big and scary, but honestly, you conjugate verbs all the time in English. Like when you use the verb am. Am. You know that it goes with I, but it doesn't go with you. You don't say you am, you say you are. Am and are are both forms of the verb to be. Because you never hear someone say I to be, me to be, you to be, she to be. You always use a different verb. Am, is, are. You say I am, you are, he, she is. And that's what conjugation is, is putting the correct verb form with the correct subject pronoun. There are six different verb forms in Spanish, and to help you better understand, we have organized a flip chart for you. Now, in Spanish, there are ten subject pronouns for I, you, he, she, we, and they. It seems like a lot for such a few amount of words, but it's because in Spanish you have masculine, masculine forms and feminine forms. First subject pronoun we'll be going over is yo. Sound familiar? That's because in our first video we explained yo for you so you could learn introductions. If you do remember, yo means I. To conjugate the verbs to ser and estar, you use soy and estoy. A really easy way to remember this is that both soy and estoy is yo backwards. Oi, oi, and yo, it's just backwards. The next subject pro pronoun we'll be going over is you. Now this is the informal version meant only for using for purpose with close friends and family. The informal version is to. When using the pronoun to, we use the informal verb Aries and estas. An easy way to remember that two and Aries go together is that it sounds like two earrings. The next subject pronoun we will be going over is for he, she, and the formal you. El is he, ella is she, and usted is the formal you. And the verbs for this is es and esta. So with that we can remember that s sounds like is, so he is or she is. Makes that more easy to understand. The next subject pronoun we will be going over is for we. Now there is a masculine and a feminine version. The masculine version is for use when it's a group of all guys or it's a group of guys and girls. The feminine version is strictly for a group of girls. The sotros is the one that's for guys or girls and guys, and the sotras is the one that's feminine. The verbs for this are somos and estamos. The easy way to remember this is that it actually sounds like the nouns it goes with. The final subject verb we'll be going over is for they. Now there's also, going, oh, also a masculine and feminine version for this. And another version which can be considered formal and formal depending on the context of the sentence. It's ellos, ellas, and ustedes. Ellos is the masculine, ellas is the feminine, and ustedes is the plural. And then the easy way to remember this is son, which sounds like son, which remembers like ellos, and then ellos have sons.